PJ Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? A gentle opening hole, just 428 from the back tees. Bunker down on the left-hand side. Driver really not necessary. Second shot, you got to make sure you carry that bunker that's fronting the green. But in all reality, Luke, players should be looking to start off this golf course with a birdie. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. Quality shot, that one. Henny, what's the player facing here? This is looking around 115 yards out. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Big time play that one, Beamer. Heck of a shot, setting up almost a guaranteed birdie. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Time to face a par four now. Look, coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Yeah, that one will play. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Opting for the six iron. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 26 feet from the cup. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Just three feet to the cup. Currently one under for the event. We have a par three on this one. Looks like they've got the five wood. Come on, get down. Yeah, well played. Butting for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. This is what they have left for a par. Time to take a look at some of the action from elsewhere on the course. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Yes! 
Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. This is full send. Let's catch up with another John Rahm highlight, shall we? This was his fourth shot. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Gotta be aggressive. Love this play out here. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. And this part to move into the top five. by the hole. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. This putt is for a share of second. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Here we are at the fifth hole of Fox Hole uh, Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. Oh, look at this soar through the air. Playing from around 110 yards out. Only one shot off the pace. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Yes! Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. Currently at three under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Not a bad line, this one. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey guys, we're checking in down here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the seventh hole. Wow, that was handy holding out from there. 
That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Rich, Canadian golf has had a number of people to be able to hang their hat on over the years. Obviously, most recent on the men's side, Mike Weir is a major winner. But the impact that Brooke Henderson has had on the game seems to have been even more significant. It has been. And, and she doesn't carry the mantle just for uh, women's golf in Canada. She carries the mantle for Canadian golf in general. She's such an amazing, delightful young lady to be around. Her personality is, is uh, infectious. She's just a good soul. And she carries that around to the golf course. I mean, two-time major winner. But what I'm impressed about most with her game, Luke, is the fact that, you know, she is such a long hitter in the game. You don't quite see too many women in the game right now that they don't talk about hitting it long like we do in the men's game. But make no bones about it. She hits it a long way out there. That gives her a massive advantage over some of the other players. And that's why she is such a prolific winner on the LPGA. Okay, steady now. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. The putt is underway. And now at three under overall. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Going with the 9-iron, I think. <laughs> Sitting at three under par. Tied for second place. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Putting for a par here. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently at three under for the day. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Going with the eight iron here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Here's a look at Rambo from a moment ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. He's currently tied for first. As we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links, the players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you got to find the fairway, really, to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side, and if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green, but what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. The great Severano Ballesteros inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. 
I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game, and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision, the imagination. He's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This putt just five feet away from the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey guys, we are checking in here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 10th. And gets that putt of distance to go. And that will take her to four under. Well, this is when the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Yeah, going for it in two. Okay. He wants to win. Ah, yes. Well, you've got to give some credit there. That was the right club and the right line. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. was wonderfully done. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That was special. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Close to the surface here, and the green side rough. Okay, time to return to the action. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. That's pretty tidy. Just didn't drop it. An opportunity to make a par here. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Currently three strokes up after that hole. In the 12th hole at Fox Hong Golf Links is a strong par three measuring 216 off the back tees. 
Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that green side bunker. You liked that, didn't you? And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Ah, oh, dip my lid to them. Well played. And back to the course with the live action. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 24 feet from the cup. Was on a good line. That'll sting a bit. Three feet to go here to the hole. For the par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This hole here is a par four. Justin Thomas, major champion, world number one player, really has all the attributes, doesn't he, Rich? He does. His focus on the, his own game is, is amazing. I, I think that this kid really understands how to play the game. He's got all the shots, but he doesn't try and get up there and hit it as hard as he can every single time. He gets out there and he learns how to play the game, hit the finesse shots when you need it, Take some risks when you ha when you need to, but also back off when you don't need to. This kid is a real deal, complete game from head to toe. Beautiful shot, and that will take him to eight under. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard, with Colin Morikawa in second. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Lovely effort, that. Rich, why don't we catch up on some of the other action going on around the course? Oh, this is a beauty of a third. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Going with the five wood. This one is chewing fiber. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. This putt coming up is for birdie. This is looking solid, what they wanted. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. This one's a par three.
choosing the 9 iron here. That's a great shot here at the 15th and sets up a look for Birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. Tracking. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting for par. And down it goes. Now an impressive nine under par as we head to the stretch. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room out in front by a bunch. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Playing their fourth shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Opting for the five wood. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Wow, what a shot. Getting ready to play their third. What a shot. And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. Oh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke, but can they maintain it? Let's find out. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Gotta love it. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. It's on a great line. Oh, so close. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Ah, great shot from about 200 yards out.
opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. That was a beauty. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. This one's looking good. Well, Rich, they say winning becomes a habit, and this player's certainly making a habit of it. What a fantastic win this week, Luke. This player was on top of their game all week long. A hard-earned, hard-fought, but well-deserved win. And I've got to give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked this one at the start of the week, didn't you? Luke, it's just, it wasn't a difficult pick, let's be honest. This player has been consistent all season long. Getting the victory, no surprise whatsoever. Really good stuff. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.